Silver is still quite the sought after metal today, especially considering silver is 19 times more rare than its frenemy gold. It should come as no surprise that silver is desired by many when you look at its resume. Out of all metals, silver is the best electric conductor, the best thermal conductor, and the most reflective metal. Believe it or not, silver has started being used in attempts to control the weather. You heard that right. Silver iodide has been used to make clouds produce rain in an attempt to control hurricanes. These are just the beginning when it comes to accolades of silver. But how is silver made? The quest for silver begins as geologists conduct extensive geological surveys and studies, analyzing rock formations, soil samples, and structural patterns to identify areas with promising silver deposits. Remote sensing technologies and satellite imagery reveal subsurface anomalies that may indicate precious ores nestled below. Once a potential deposit is located, core samples are extracted through exploratory drilling. Essay testing of these drill samples determines the concentration of silver within the ore, providing crucial data to estimate the viability of mining operations. If assays show high enough silver content and the deposit is close to the surface, open pit mining may commence, removing layers of rock and soil to expose the precious metal bearing ore. When veins of silver run deeper, underground mining is undertaken with networks of tunnels burrowing over a kilometer into the ancient geological layers in search of the lustrous metal. Whether above or below ground, controlled blasting with explosives fractures and loosens the silver infused rock. Specialized equipment drills holes into the rock Explosives are inserted and time charges are used to break apart the ore while minimizing unwanted debris. Once fragmented, the ore is hauled to the surface for the next stage of processing. The hauled silver ore enters jaw crushers to fracture the rock through compression and impact forces, generating centimeter-sized fragments. These broken chunks are then sent to grinding mills and ground into a fine mineral powder less than a millimeter in diameter. Steel grinding balls pulverize the particles as they tumble inside the rotating mills. This grinding process liberates the precious silver minerals from their encapsulation within the host rock. It also increases the surface area of the powdered or by over a hundred fold. This exponentially exposes more silver minerals for downstream separation while avoiding excessive overgrinding that could impair later concentration steps. The ground silver then enters specialized froth flotation tanks filled with water, air, and chemical regions. As compressed air bubbles up and agitates this pulp, the silver mineral grains preferentially adhere to the air-water interfaces based on the physics of hydrophobicity and surface chemistry. Skimmers collect this silver-laden froth as it floats to the top of the tank directed into launders as the bubbles burst. The enriched concentrate now contains 20 to 40% silver by weight. Additional gravity concentration, methods like jigs and spiral separators may supplement flotation exploiting density differences to further enrich silver. Together, these processes transform the powdered ore into a concentrated silver product transported onward for smelting and refining. The waste material discarded as tailings can constitute over 90% of the original mass while retaining a fraction of the silver. The concentrated silver ore is fed into high temperature smelting furnaces reaching over 1200 degrees Celsius to liberate the silver from its mineral matrix. The intense heat initiates a series of thermal and chemical reactions. As sulfide ores require additional flux materials to promote the separation of silver from iron sulfides and other heavy metal impurities. Liquid slag skimmed from the molten material retains these unwanted elements. What remains is an impure silver gold alloy called DOR, averaging 70 to 90% silver and 10 to 20% gold. The smelted door undergoes sequential separation and purification steps during the final refining phase. But first, the semi-pure alloy is cast into ingots or bars before transportation to refineries. Maintaining furnace temperatures over 1100 degrees Celsius ensures complete collection of the precious metal content into the door destined for refinement into pure silver bullion. The smelted silver gold door undergoes meticulous refining processes to achieve 99.9% .9 pure silver. Fluxing agents first collect residual impurities which are removed through heating and oxidation reactions. This is followed by cupellation, absorbing any remaining base metals like copper with bone ash or magnesium oxide to further purify the silver. Finally, electrolytic cells apply controlled electrical currents to separate the silver and gold within the alloy, exploiting their slight electrode potential differences. 
Additional acid leaching or chlorination steps may assist this sequential separation. What emerges is refined silver of 999 purity, meaning 99.9% .9 silver atoms among elemental contaminants measured in parts per million. This high purity underlies silver's coveted properties like unmatched reflectivity, brilliance, and electrical and thermal conductivity. Silver's role in human civilization stretches back over six millennia to the earliest days of metallurgy minted coinage. The lustrous white metal extracted and refined from complex ores boasts unique conductive, reflective, and antibacterial properties that underpin myriads of modern technologies. Dentistry, electronics, solar panels, pharmaceuticals, jewelry, food storage, hygiene products, and industrial applications all rely on silver's functionality. Indeed, more patents reference silver than all other metals combined as researchers continue unlocking its potential across industries. Once used as currency in early economies, today silver drives cutting-edge innovation, an eloquent symbol of humankind's restless spirit of creativity, always seeking to unveil the hidden treasures offered by the natural world.